more motorcycle stuff. So, this has been a fun journey and a change of pace because it's been a few years since I had a motorcycle, so it's fun getting back into it. Um, love the Kawasaki Vulcan that I have. The only complaint that I have is the seat isn't really all that comfortable. It's kind of hard, and my butt's going, um, you know, 20 minutes in, which is a little ridiculous. And I could probably get um, a different seat for it from Kawasaki that's like a shorter reach, but I read a review that somebody said it really wasn't that much difference. I've checked aftermarket seats. No one seems to really make one um, for this model motorcycle. So I've decided that rather than get a gel pad, which I tried out at the dealership that seemed kind of hard, um, and gave a one inch lift that I didn't like. Um, also looked at the at the air cushion seats too, but um, a lot of the reviews say the air just shifts and then so basically you're sitting on a tennis ball somewhere else, right? So let's go old school and order some sheepskin. So on Sunday, I ordered this from Amazon and this is supposed to be 100% real sheepskin and it wasn't that expensive so there wasn't much invested in it but um, it, it could get here quick and I thought if we went riding this weekend or soon it would have been helpful so um, it showed up and I should have known something was wrong just by the description so, how to distinguish real sheepskin from fur and faux wool? I mean, are they thinking that you're going to think this is fake from the get-go? And look, real sheepskin fur is natural product. It is wool grown on the sheepskin, just like our hair grown on our head. It will have some float wool on the surface. Use a soft brush, blah, blah, blah. Um, our seat cover is made of real sheepskin, so the price is a little higher than faux wool. Well, it actually wasn't that expensive, and it wasn't um, uh, a bad price anyway, so I'm wondering who's, who's complaining, but they seem to have a, a lot of disclaimers on here. Every sheep is different, so their fur is also different. The old male sheep's fur will be tough, even hard when you touch it. The young female sheep's fur could be soft and comfortable, so every seat covers from us touches different. Right, okay, so they're, I'm on to them. They think that I'm going to think something's wrong with this from the beginning. Test, the most effective manner to distinguish real sheepskin fur and faux wool is fire. So they're suggesting that basically I burn this to test it. Well, I'm not going to burn it in case I need to return it. And here is the seller, the Facebook page. I opened this earlier and I'm going to spoil the fun here and burst your bubble, but this was a horrible purchase and it's not real sheepskin. I don't want to take it completely out of the package because I'm going to be sending this back, but basically it was like the cheapest child's stuffed animal toy faux fur ever. Horrible. And even this is some kind of cloth on the back. It's not even leather. So completely false advertising. This is going back um, via Amazon. So get this package back. So once again, you don't want to buy this. And they're going to get a horrible review. Now, what I do suggest, I thought this would take a little time to come to me in the mail. Um, so I knew this was on the way, but wow, I ordered this next thing on Sunday and it was here today and today is Wednesday. So this is from Alaska Leather Company. This is real sheepskin. And this is sheared. 
so it's not really long, but they have various lengths. You can get it sheared or, or leave it long. I chose the sheared so that I could get some of the spotted pattern. They were so helpful on the phone. They're out of Anchorage. And interestingly enough, the gentleman that works there that answered the phone used to live next to the town I live in, and his brother-in-law works in the town I live in. So it's a really small world. But he connected me with a lady named Barb, and Barb called back. I mean, as soon as I sent her an email on a Sunday, mind you, she had emailed back within 15 minutes. It, I mean, literally just enough time for me to go measure the seat on my motorcycle just in case I heard from her. She taught me through the whole process. Actually, she told me which size that I needed. I probably would have ordered the wrong one. Um, she gave me some different colors of hides. I ordered a black one for blackjack, but I told her that I wanted something that looked like a cow print for my Kawasaki. Get it? And so she helped pick out the... Uh, the fur for me and I even ordered two so that I would have a backup so this all came out of the same um, skin she actually cut them that night got them in the mail Monday and they're here unbelievable right so um, I took these out this afternoon and they looked really good on my bike I'll show a picture at the end and I can guarantee that just the one pad extended my riding time. 20 minutes in before my butt was getting numb. I was out on the bike about an hour tonight and was pretty comfortable. Um, so th I'm super excited about this. I'm wondering if there's a way if I attach both under the seat at a couple of different points, um, if even doubling it up would help. I felt connected to the bike. Um, you do move a little bit, but I was just more careful. Um, it, it stopped and start and taken off. Um, but yeah, a lot of the vibration was taken out. It was cool. I didn't get hot. Um, so very comfortable. Did what Barb said. I would say this is a hundred percent improvement over the seat. And I can't say enough about Alaska Leather Company. Just a great experience. Not like the product I just bought from Amazon that's going back. So I'll put the contact information for Alaska Leather Company. Definitely ask for Barb. She just knew a ton about motorcycles and different options. And um, it's just really good experience. We'll be ordering from them again.